Alright you bunch of Cape Crusaders, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful pen using comic book artwork and wood. Now before any of you start giving me death threats, as I've received before, I didn't cut up any comic books to make this, <laughs> this pen uh, and I'll explain the whole process. But first, here's a quick word from the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by Skillshare.com. Skillshare gives members unlimited access to over 20,000 classes for just $15 per month or $99 for the year. As an ambassador of Skillshare, I can offer you two free months membership. There are thousands of classes to help you learn new crafting skills. Someone's even made a class about bentwood rings. Or to improve on all aspects of your creative business, such as product photography, social media, search engine optimization, and many more. Simply click through the link in the description to sign up and get two free months membership today. Now on with the video. So to begin this whole process, I started by uh, cutting up a maple pen blank uh, on my scroll saw and then mounted it on the lathe to drill out a nice big hole through the middle of the blank. Uh, for this pen kit, I used a Sierra style pen kit, uh, which required a special drill bit. Then when the hole was drilled, I took the brass tube from the pen kit, uh, lathered it up in super glue, and then just slotted that into the hole in the blank. There we go. So the next thing to do was to um, take the blank over to the barrel trimmer. And the barrel trimmer just comes in your basic pen kit. And this just helps to uh, basically make the edges of the pen flush with the tubes. So the wood is flush with the tubes. So you can then mount it onto the lathe. There we go. That's what it looks like when the brass tube is in the wood and it's all nice and flush. Then to mount it on the lathe, I've used the special bushings from a uh, Sierra pen kit and I've just put those on and then mounted the blank onto a pen mandrel and began roughing it to shape with a roughing gouge. So this took a while and basically what I wanted was to get the pen nice and round, nice and flat. Uh, ready for the image to go on. I wasn't too precious about getting a, an amazing surface finish on the pen blank, but I used a quick 240 grit sandpaper just to get it reasonably smooth. Whoop. And that's what it looked like after I'd done a bit of shaping. I actually shaped it up a bit straighter than that. You can see the middle is bulged out a bit. Uh, but yeah, I was left with uh, something roughly like this. So that's the wood. And now, before any of you get angry at me, no comic books were hurt during the making of this video. This is basically a scan of a Batman comic and uh, a bit of Batman clip art I found on the internet. And I basically merged those two images together on uh, Photoshop and then using a bit of Mod Podge I've painted a bit onto the wooden blank and then pretty much rolled that piece of artwork around the wood. So I just painted a bit of Mod John and then stuck it down and rolled it up until the uh, the image wrapped all the way around the outside of the wood. There we go. Getting this image to fit was a bit of a mission, but uh, I managed to slice and dice it basically until bits overlapped and it looked quite nice in the end. And then when, when it was all on, I just painted over one or two layers of Mod Podge and left that to dry before moving on to proper finishing. So when that Mod Podge was dry, 
I loaded up the edges of the blanks with super glue, CA glue. Uh, as you can see, I had like overlapping paper flappy bits on the edges. So what I did is I applied like three or four layers of super glue, sprayed a bit of activator spray in between coats as always. And this just made the edges nice and solid. So I was able to sand them back so that the wood and the comic book were flush with the brass tube again. There we go. I could do that on a barrel trimmer, but I'd imagine that would have absolutely completely decimated the blank. So I just did it this way. And then I was left with a nice blank ready for finishing. My finish of choice was CA glue, super glue finish, which is a bit tricky, uh, but this was a nice fast method and it worked out really well. So I mounted it on the lathe, mounted the pen blank back on the lathe, applied a few drops of super glue and then rubbed it in with uh, a bit of um, toilet paper, kitchen roll not toilet paper, <laughs> uh, and then in between coats I sprayed a bit of activate the spray. In the end on this pen I ended up using I think it was about 10 coats, I wanted to get it on nice and thick so that when it came to polishing that CA I didn't like break through the finish and onto the comic book as that would have ruined the whole project. Then with my layers of CA glue applied I used a few grits of sandpaper working from 400 to a 1200 grit just to get the surface nice and smooth before I use this amazing product called Burnishing Cream by Chestnut Products and pretty much just applied a little bit on with a bit of kitchen roll sped the lathe up just slightly and just rubbed it all in and then uh, kind of wax on wax off situation until it came up nice and shiny so that was a quick and easy way to polish the pen. And then pretty much onto assembly. Uh, I had a bit of a tricky time uh, assembling the lid. I think I'll definitely invest in some kind of device to make this part easier for the future. Uh, but for now, I just used my vise, got the, uh, the end of the pen on, and then slotted the whole thing together, give it a bit of welly, and boom! Got ourselves a Batman pen made out of comic book artwork. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave me a comment. It really helps me out. Uh, recommend the video to a friend or share it or something. Just generally show some love and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Hopefully see you in the next one, bro.